hey what's up guys it's Barbara Bote and I'm back with another video this is a wedding makeup tutorial uh, wedding season is approaching and I know someone will learn from this so if you want to see how I got this look just keep on watching first thing I'm doing is taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and the color Eden and you want to do this so that your eyelids are primed all day for your big day and that your makeup lasts and I'm taking my Urban Decay Fice 4 palette and I'm taking the color Bitten as a transition color so that my eyeshadows are seamlessly blended and I'm using my Sedona Lace 863 brush. I'm doing the same exact thing on the other eye and I'm just doing that in circular motions. The next thing I'm doing is taking my BH Cosmetics. It's like an old concealer brush and I'm taking MAC Vanilla Pigment. <laughs> it's like a soft iridescent color. Um, and I'm not just going ham with that color, I'm just putting it down and just for a nice little glow on my brow bone. And I'm of course going to blend that out with my uh, Sedona Lace Blending Brush. Then I'm going to take my Kat Von D Monarch Palette. The color I'm taking is Tiny Death. It's the yellow shade up top. And I'm going to pat that on my eyelids with my Sedona Lace EB11. Then I'm taking Make of Geeks Beaches and Cream and I'm doing that on the second half of my eyelid. I'm gonna work in thirds with my eyelids. I'm just patting that on there. It's like a peachy color. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay Fice 4 palette and I'm taking the dark brown shade, which is called Delete, and I'm taking my EB11 just for the outer corners. And I'm bringing that up to my crease and just wiggling the brush, you know, left and right to make sure everything is blended. And then I'm just blending all the shades. Then I'm taking the uh, brush that comes in the Vice 4 palette and I'm blending, making sure that I don't um, erase what I've put down there. And then I'm going back with EB11 EB and I'm taking Papilio, which is the dark brown in the Kat Von D Monarch palette. And I'm just deepening the outer crease. I'm not going to add black because you don't want to go too deep or too smooth. Now I'm taking ColourPop's Maze and I'm just going to add that to the center of my lid just for a little sheen. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color uh, Black Bean. And I'm just going to do a smoky sort of wing liner. And the brush I'm using is an EB23 brush. It's just a normal angled brush use what you have and then I'm just gonna blend that out um, and then I'm gonna add more black to the base so there's like a gradient and um, that it's fuller at my lash line then I'm going to take my black eyeliner which is by Jordana it's called the easy liner and just take any black um, you have and I'm gonna tight line so that there's more full fullness at my lash line because I'm not going to use dramatic eyelashes then what I did was take my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and you want to make sure that your face is flawless so you have to color correct and don't go too crazy with this because it is a orange color and it will show through your foundation if you do too much. And I'm going to blend it all in with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush just so um, it's nice and seamless. Then I'm going to take my put my foundation on um, off camera but this is um, a BH cosmetics pencil brush and the dark brown from the monarch palette and I'm going in my lower lash line just to make nothing crazy and then I'm blending it in with um, the orangey color from the vice 4 palette which is called bitter then I'm going to take just a random white eyeshadow just so that my eyes look more open and that you just look more pure <laughs> and you just pat that in and then for the more of a wide-eyed look you take your l'oreal telescopic in black and coat your lashes i did like two coats because i really wanted my lashes to stick out at the bottom and then just coating them then I'm taking my Sodona Lace brush. No, it's a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's like from a limited edition palette. And that is my Mary Luminizer as per usual. And then my Svigison's Formula Bronzer just to deepen it so that it's your highlight's not too bright. Because you don't want to go too crazy with the highlighters. And I'm hitting the normal usual spots and blending them all out. And then I'm going to take just a random pink blush. I know I never do blush, but I'm mixing a peach and a pink just for something simple and subtle and then I'm gonna go with the lips wet and wild color icon and dark brown and I'm going to take my NYX lip lingerie in the color lace detail I did a few a review and demo on those and swatches I'll link that below and in this video 
and this is the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something from it make sure you subscribe leave me a comment tell me how you feel and um make sure you also follow me on all my social networks i just created a facebook like page so that i could share my makeup looks with everyone so make sure you head on over there and like the page so you can stay updated so thanks you guys for watching bye